Hi there. I'm Chris Moore. I'm Dean of the College of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, Sargent College. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about deciding whether or not Sargent College is the best fit for you and your college ambitions. We're going to try and do a few things today. Uh, we're going to try and talk about first what how Boston University fits and with the College of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences Sargent Colleges, uh, Sargent College. Um, I can try and answer some of your questions if you want to try and email those to us through Heather Nicholson. And uh, of course, through it all, we're trying to help you decide whether Sargent College is the best fit for you. This isn't what Sargent College looks like today. It's very cold, of course, and there's quite a bit of online learning going in our learn from anywhere uh, capacity, but we expect to be uh, at a much higher level of operations come fall. Sargent College has a rich and vibrant history. In 1881, uh, our college was founded by Dr. Dudley Allen Sargent as the Sargent School of Physical Training over in Cambridge, just across the river. In 1929, Sargent became part of Boston University when it merged with Boston University, um, or essentially was absorbed. And in 1990, we moved to our seven-story building on 635 Commonwealth Avenue. Sargent College is the best of all worlds. And it, it, it represents a small college. It's a, it is a small college and a major university. Uh, we have a range of programs in health and rehabilitation sciences, including occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech language pathology, nutrition, uh, and undergraduate programs in health sciences, human physiology, nutrition and health, behavior and health. Uh, these programs have um, uh, maintain an interdisciplinary focus and uh, provide you with excellent pre-professional training, whatever your post-baccalaureate ambitions are. More than half of Sargent College students go on to graduate education. So if we look at Sargent College just by the numbers, I'm going to put myself down here in the lower corner so you can read those. Uh, we usually have about 1,200 uh, undergraduate students uh, divided across four departments. Uh, about 600 graduate students uh, are divided also ac across those four departments, about 91 full-time faculty, supplemented by 32 part-time faculty. We have more than now more than 18,000 alumni uh, across six, 63 countries. Uh, one of the real benefits of Sargent College is our clinical training. Uh, we do extensive experiential training off campus, uh, actually throughout the country in 44 states and two countries. Sargent College students are outstanding. They are critical thinkers. Uh, they go on to become leaders and innovators, humanitarians. Many of them are participants in the Kilichon Honors College program. Uh, this year, our students are, are um, uh, the admitted students are in their top 6% of their high school class with grade point averages from 3.85 and above. Uh, the SAT, as you know, was optional this year. Uh, there's a very high retention graduation rate. Um, most of the students who come to BU complete their education at BU. Those students who go on to pro uh, professional uh, uh, to professional training, graduate uh, education, pass their professional examination, almost 100% of our students pass for licensure the first time they try. We're ex extremely proud of that. The curriculum at Sargent prepares students for, for, uh, for, for the health environment of the 21st century. That includes a liberal arts foundation but, and a strong core curriculum in, in, the, in STEM courses. Uh, this includes very strong professional preparation, so aimed at clinical activities, clinical professions, including our state-of-the-art clinical facilities and many, many, as I mentioned before, uh, intern internship opportunities. There are also research opportunities for students who have, um, who have 
uh, who, who anticipate careers that are more research intensive or who would like to bolster their, their credentials in research through things like the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program or UROP. We also have along that same line, the opportunity to do a thesis for distinction. So some students choose to do an in-depth research experience within, your, within their minor, major or minor field, working closely with individual faculty to complete a senior thesis. This encourages critical thinking, of course, and uh, through the completion of an independent research project, there's independent uh, or innovative, um, uh, innovative operations as well as uh, you know, contributions to real problems in health related issues. A relatively recent um, addition to the Boston University programs is the BU Hub. Uh, the BU Hub is like a general education uh, program. What it does is assure that students will take advantage of all of the things that we have available to them across the university. Uh, including um, uh, programs at the College for Fine Arts, for example, or the Pardee School for Global Studies, uh, making sure that there's space available for you and that those are counted toward your undergraduate program. So the hub standardizes these general education, education requirements. Uh, it includes requirements in math, science, communication, social science, and the humanities, and a good deal of writing. Uh, Sergeant students are excellent writers by the time they've completed their degree. Um, so these, these hub requirements, uh, I like to think of them as a newer generation of, of general education requirements. They're focused less on balancing the curriculum and more with creating well-rounded students. And you've probably heard about this already. Uh, but the hub requirements focus on basic areas of knowledge, uh, particular academic skills, intellectual skills, and habits of mind uh, that will help our students after they graduate to be leaders and uh, lifelong learners in a, in a very complex world, of course. Many of your hub requirements are built into your degree requirements at, uh, at Sargent College. So you'll hear more for, about this from your program directors later on. Uh, but the idea is that these programs, these, um, these degree requirements are actually part of Sargent College's uh, uh, planned curriculum, required curriculum. So a little bit more about the organization of Sargent College. We're organized into four academic departments. Um, so the four departments are health sciences, occupational therapy, physical therapy and athletic training, and speech language and hearing sciences. Within the health sciences department, there are three programs. Uh, the health science department, which focus, pr focuses predominantly on public health and global health. Uh, if you're interested in solving uh, the, the current COVID pandemic, uh, health science is a good option for you. Uh, human physiology tends to be uh, the pre-med track. Uh, it's one of several pre-med tracks. It's not the only one, uh, but it does focus on, uh, on human mechanisms uh, as human disease, uh, human disorders, and uh, human anatomy. So um, Boston University's only, or the Charles River campus's only cadaveric anatomy, uh, anatomy lab is in Sargent College. Uh, it's a required course for many of our programs. Uh, so that's uh, gross anatomy. And then there's also neuroanatomy is taught in that same anatomy lab. Um, nutrition uh, for uh, the uh, undergraduate degree in nutrition is called nutrition and health or health and nutrition. Um, an excellent program. It's preparatory. It can be preparatory to med school or also to um, a career in dietetics. Uh, occupational therapy the under, is the department that houses our undergraduate program in behavior and health, um, which studies the, the, behavior, the behaviors that contribute to or detract from human health. Our occupational therapy program, uh, the graduate program, is ranked number one in the country by U.S. News and World Report. Those same faculty are the ones who are uh, teaching and running the undergraduate program in behavior and health. So it's a very, very excellent program. We're very proud of it. Uh, physical therapy and athletic training, also very highly ranked program. Um, 
the physical therapy program, uh, athletic training is a, a, only a graduate program. Physical therapy is the leads to the doctor of physical therapy program. Some of you have been admitted to the combined program in physical therapy leading to the doctor of physical therapy. I wanna congratulate you on that. Uh, that cuts a year off of your actual training to get to your, um, uh, your completed DPT program. Um, in that program, the senior year, 16 credits of the senior year are counted toward the, uh, toward the DPT degree. And then the speech language and hearing sciences program um, is a program that often leads to preparation for speech language pathology, but can also be applied to uh, any range of, of graduate programs in, um, in healthcare. So I just mentioned this one, the BS DPT, where you're going to combine bachelor's with the graduate degree, the DPT, uh, Doctor of Physical Therapy, that takes six years. Um, there's also a combined program in speech language pathology, takes five years, and a combined program in human physiology, which takes five years. <clears throat> Uh, there's also an excellent program, which is a, a joint program in the Masters of Master of Public Health, um, Boston University's highly ranked uh, uh, School of Public Health has collaborated with Sargent to create this degree in which 16 uh, credits of your undergraduate program can be counted toward the Master of Public Health. That results in the MPH degree being awarded in the fifth year. Uh, that can include uh, programming in epidemiology, for example, or in global health, in public health. Uh, so the full range of, of uh, areas of concentration in the MPH are available to students in this area. Uh, alternatively, students can complete a minor in public health. So as I mentioned before, our OT program is number one in the country. Our speech language pathology is ranked number 10 and our physical therapy program, the DPT program is ranked number 20 in the country. So we're very proud of these programs. They're all ranking within the top 10% of their disciplines. Um, professional accreditation of our programs always finds our, our programs to be outstanding. And uh, we are uh, extremely proud of the graduates that go through these programs. Uh, we also are, have a, a very high level of uh, externally funded research going on at Sargent. Um, this past year, we had more than $18 million worth of externally funded research uh, taking place at Sargent. What that matters, the way that matters to you is that uh, it provides opportunities for you to work in some of those projects, work in those labs. Um, but maybe more importantly and more generally, um, what this means is that the faculty that you're studying with are people who are working at the very front of their discipline. In many cases, the things you're going to be learning about in their, in their courses are practices and mechanisms and theories that are five years ahead of what is being, what's being uh, invoked out in the general field. Uh, Quite a number of unique educational opportunities are available at Sargent. Some of these have been uh, curtailed a bit by the pandemic, but we're looking forward to ramping them back, back up as uh, public health conditions permit. Um, um, so some of these include uh, service learning opportunities. These are um, international service learning opportunities. These can be very, uh, very quick. Uh, taking one or two weeks and traveling to countries like Belize, Costa Rica, Ghana, Peru. These are all places where we've been. Uh, last, uh, well, in 2019, we went to Guatemala, Thailand, and India. And these are, sh these are, are short-term experiences that are designed to help students uh, broaden their perspective on healthcare internationally. Uh, here's one of our groups. I think this group uh, was in Peru. Uh, there's also study abroad. Now, study abroad is uh, also um, um, being somewhat hampered by the pandemic, but uh, we're looking forward to it opening back up. Uh, but students have the opportunity to under, under these conditions, they study abroad for a semester. 
Currently, healthcare internships are, are possible in New Zealand, Australia, England, Ireland, and Switzerland. Uh, there are pre-med courses available at our Dresden, Madrid, and Grenoble operations. Uh, and then there are other programs that have more of a language and a cultural emphasis in Italy, Germany, France, Spain, and China. Just a little bit of a look at our facilities. Um, so here's one of our uh, multimedia classrooms. Uh, this room, for example, you can see multiple monitors around the room. Uh, I wish you were able to visit this while you today as part of your decision making process. Uh, but just let me tell you a little bit about this classroom. So um, the, in this particular classroom, it can be rapidly reconfigured. All of these tables can move. It's got its own uh, Wi-Fi network. Uh, so that all of these all of these screens can be rapidly rapidly reconfigured for group work or for for uh, work across the entire class. Um, the reconfiguration of the of the tables allows there to be uh, lecture, large group discussion, small group discussion, uh, work group uh, kinds of activities. So it lends itself to all kinds of different teaching uh, styles and approaches. Uh, we also have a computer lab, and then we have a number of in-house clinics. We have a clinic in audiology, a speech language uh, pathology clinic, our physical therapy clinic. Um, and these are all uh, used for our um, undergraduate instruction, as well as our graduate and clinical training and as research opportunities. Uh, the physical therapy uh, and athletic training lab, what you see down here in the lower right corner is the physical therapy lab. Uh, this lab can handle about 80 students at a time. Uh, each student's work can be uh, recorded at the table where they're working for subsequent review. Uh, the instructor can take over the, the, um, the AV system so that uh, he or she would be able to project on these, uh, on these monitors to everyone in the classroom to teach a particular technique. Uh, so this would be something you would encounter, for example, through the combined VSDPT program. Uh, the Ryan Center uh, is another part of Sargent College's operation. It includes our physical therapy center, our athletic training services, and the Sargent Choice Nutrition Center. The Sargent Choice Nutrition Center offers guidance on um, on student dining. Uh, so you'll see in the cafeteria, in the in the dining halls, you'll see. Uh, Sergeant Choice Nutrition, uh, you'll see Sergeant Choice uh, menu options that have been identified and with recipes that are created have uh, perhaps lower salt, lower sugar, uh, lower calories, uh, healthier options, more whole grains and things like that. Uh, so we're very proud of that. Uh, the Sergeant Choice Nutrition Center also offers um, uh, uh, counseling uh, for eating disorders, for example, and also uh, for dietary counseling. Uh, so Sergeant Choice Dining, this is what I was just telling you about. Uh, you can find out more about this at the website, uh, bu.edu, Sergeant Choice. Um, uh, this, is a, this is something a lot of parents have asked us about. Uh, it's it's uh, very encouraging and, and um, to know that uh, there is this kind of guidance available in the dining halls to help students make healthy choices in, in, their, um, in their dining choices. So what about Boston University generally? So Sargent is only about 2,000 people, including the faculty and the students, as I said earlier. Uh, this is in a context of BU being about 33,000 or more than 33,000 students um, at BU, uh, divided into 17 colleges and schools, including a med school, a law school, school of public health, uh, dental school. Uh, BU is one of the 62 um, members of the Association of American Universities. Uh, these are leading universities that lead in terms of research productivity and the generation of new knowledge. Um, and then uh, we're very proud of uh, Sargent's green footprint. So uh, you'll see a new building when you get to campus, you'll see a new uh, building going up right next to Sargent. Um, it is our data sciences building, uh, sometimes referred to as the stack of books. Um, 
it will be a zero, it will have a zero carbon footprint, a brand new, very large building. I think it's 17 stories and will have uh, a zero carbon footprint. It features geothermal uh, heating and cooling uh, and renewable uh, uh, renewable resources for uh, renewable sources for electricity. And that completes it. So um, I hope this has been I hope this has been helpful. Uh, Sargent is an amazing place to be. It is a small community of scholars in a in the context of a very large, uh, very talented, opportunity rich environment. Uh, it's a tremendous place to be. I'm very proud of being the dean of this great college, and I uh, look forward to seeing you. And please don't hesitate to email if you have any concerns or questions. My email is more, M-O-O-R-E-C-A, at B-U dot E-D-U, and I look forward to meeting you in the future. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.